Hello everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on wood synth from Woodsman's Immaculate Maple Syrup Studio. So in this video I'm going to introduce you introduce you to wood synth uh, so you know what it looks like, what it sounds like, um, but also I'm going to um, give you an introduction to the interface as well as I normally do on uh, each first video. Uh, before I start I have a number of codes as courtesy of the developer or from the developer, I should say. Uh, so if you're interested to enter the competition, just follow the uh, rules in the video description and also check that in the comment section, the competition is still running or if indeed winners have been announced. So WoodSynth is a synth organized on a number of layers. And you can choose each layer here. You have four buttons, so you have four layers. Each layer very much is uh, its own synth. Indeed, if you click down here on the layers, you can see that you can set uh, uh, some parameters for that layer including the number of voices which is important can go up to 16 voices per layers i should say that uh, uh, it works as a standalone but also as an auv3 plugin it supports mpe um, etc so it's actually a quite comprehensive uh, uh, implementation each layer can uh, have its own uh, sources, in this case, free oscillators, as you can see here. The interesting thing is that you can choose a waveform for each oscillator, but you can also uh, choose a sample. And so you can load the sample, you can record it, or you can load it from a library as well, which uh, is, is, quite, is quite unique. Um, in terms of how um, the interface is set up. On the top, you have uh, some buttons which allows you, for example, to do preset management, but also accessing menu for advanced options. And of course, uh, also a question mark uh, button to go to the website where you can find the manual for this synth. Uh, in the middle, you have your main interface. Um, below that, you have a keyboard where you can play. <laughs> Okay, like so. And then at the bottom, you have different buttons, which allows you to access different panels inside the synth. So, for example, you have just seen the layer, like so. Okay, so um, let's continue a little bit more with exploration of the other uh, panels within the synth. So, there is a source panel, as I just mentioned a moment ago. You can set also amplitude um, envelopes, and you can have your traditional ADSR which is cool. You have pitch envelope as well, which is cool. You can select which oscillator as the destination. And also, if you want to have the destination as a sample as well, you can select filter as well. And you have ADSR there as well. You can choose the type of filter here. Again, you have the selection of the different layers always at the top. You have effects like delay and I would say a basic implementation of a reverb. You can set uh, output parameters as well pump parameters uh, and quite interesting which I really really like not many synth have these you have a sequencer and each sequencer is independent from each layer so you practically have polyphonic uh, sequences that you can create for different presets lastly but um, uh, still important you have your LFO panels which you can choose parameters for your LFO with including their uh, destination um, so let's uh, uh, choose some presets so we click here on preset on factory and then let's choose the first preset and let's play a little bit with some of them so you get a feel what uh, it, it can do And as you can see, you have um, the names of the notes uh, as well on the screen, and you have a representation of what notes are played on the keyboard as well, which is quite nice. Let's go to the next preset. It is almost there. <laughs> as well um, let's go to the next one as you can see in this one behind you you have a description as well which is quite nice in terms of give you more information about the preset and how it could be used mm -hmm. 
the other thing that I I wanted I wanted to mention is that he has the ability to actually play notes per different layers. So you can have that different sound per different notes, and you can also link layers to different parts of the keyboard as well, which is quite nice, quite useful. So again, let's try in a few more preset this one chase sequence. Okay, really nice. Digital marimba. Okay, really nice. And this fairy dust organ. Okay, nice. Let's go to the next one. Grimling clavinet. just one layer activated okay let's try the sequencer so you see how easy it is to uh, enable the sequencer and of course you can further customize the behavior here as well so for example you, we can just choose the number of notes um, you can choose to quantize it etc and so on so let's try again uh, a few more preset let's try this one <laughs> Okay, interesting. Let's go to the next one. Lofi organ. Okay, in the next one, Usha motion. Panoramic synth bass. Okay, let's click next again. Let's try a few more. Plucky square. Okay, a few more. Okay. Okay, nice. I'm going to stop here for this uh, um, short introduction and I will continue in the next uh, videos exploring how wood synth works and perhaps also to show you a different application inside the UM or other host. I hope you enjoy. See you next time. Bye.